Hey everybody, Epos Vox here, and with Xbox Games Pass for PC around the corner and a plethora of games being ported to PC from Microsoft and available in the Windows Store and through their own app selection, I want to touch on how to manage your Windows or Microsoft related games. Obviously, Steam itself gives you control over where your library goes and where your Steam games go, but you, it's not quite as obvious where your other games can go and you can actually move some of them as well So I want to I just want to cover some points in this video about how to manage your Xbox and Microsoft games and Windows 10 Specifically in 1903, although this should mostly apply to Windows 10 1809 as well All right, we'll cover games pass in a moment or game pass in a moment, but for games installed from the Microsoft Store uh, you do now have the option of basically setting up your own library location and changing where they go. So hit the start button, go over to settings, type in the search storage, go to storage settings, and then down here, change where new content is saved. And again, this is only for new content. We'll cover moving stuff in a moment. We go to change where new content is saved, and you can customize this for a lot of different options. So maps, not that anybody uses that, movies and TV show download, photo and videos taken from the camera app, music from Groove Music stuff. Again, not something most people use, but new apps is what affects the games and obviously store apps as well. So change it from C, you can change it to a different drive. I'll change it to my games drive D, hit apply. And then you may have to relaunch the store. So I'll go ahead and do that. Actually, I'll go ahead and try it. I want to install Halo 5, no, not 4, Halo 5 Forge Bundle. I don't have it installed on this machine. I wish to install it. Install. There you go. It will, it will let you choose it if you're out of space, like you can choose it here anyway, but it is good to go ahead and have the default changed and then you can choose which drive you have stuff installed to. For me, I want to install to D. I have three terabytes available. Hit install. It will now download your game, assuming you can get the license for it, which I will show you in just a sec, and then start to install it on that drive. However, if you do get an error, if you're someone who has used a lot of computers or multiple Xboxes and things like that, there's another fix. I also wanted to mention that your Microsoft account has a limit of how many devices you can install apps and games on, and that limit, at least for mine, is 10. And that includes your Xbox and your Windows 10 device. So if you get an error like I did about not being able to install your games, you probably have too many devices activated because this includes older computers. For example, I had one I just removed going back to 2015, but 2016, 2017, th that was the last time these devices were used and I'm not using them anymore. They're eating up these slots on your account. So you need to go to account.microsoft.com slash devices slash content, sign in with your Microsoft account that's linked to your Microsoft Store account in Windows 10, and remove these old devices. This is generally a good security measure anyway, as this is similar to removing app access in your Facebook account or Google account and helps keep in case someone happens to have this account, you know, these devices now, they won't be able to access your Microsoft account. But go ahead and clear out some of these old ones to keep, you know, you able to add new computers or new Xboxes and install your games and just keep your account in good standing. So I just wanted to throw that in there since that's a particular issue that I have run into and that would affect quite a few people. Can I just say that I love how fast Microsoft CDN is? For all of the complaints people have about the Windows Store, I am downloading at 300 megabits per second here. Like this thing is downloading so fast. 300, 312, 313, 330. It just keeps going, 340. Like, that's just nuts. 344. Anyway, that, that doesn't matter. So that's how you change for new games is either add install or you set the default. I recommend setting the default. But what if you already have games installed? I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. Go back to start. Type add and go to add or remove programs. Now, this only works with Windows 10, you know, the UWP stuff or stuff installed from the Microsoft Store. Normal traditional desktop Win32 programs does not give you this option. But if we scroll down here and I find a game I have installed from the Windows Store, which for me for this example will be Halo Spartan Assault Lite. When you click on it in the entry, you have a move button. And so now you can actually change what drive you move it to. Select a drive to move it to, let's move it to D because it's currently installed on C. And it even tells you how much space it takes up. You have a couple more advanced options for whether it can run in the background and you can kill the process and reset it, uninstall it, things like that. But it will show you Oh, now I just lost it. It will show you how much space it takes up on your hard drive and which drive it's installed on, and then you can move it, which is really handy. So go ahead and move, move to D. It will move it for you. 
takes a second depending on the size because of course it does have to do the file copy but this way you don't have to uninstall your games and reinstall them this is of course for windows 10 store i can't harp on that enough but now it is installed on the d drive now to show you the folder structure here just in case you're curious i'm going to go to my games drive so it's going to be under your drive and for documents and pictures and things like that if you have it set to that drive it's going to be under your a, an abbreviated version of your username so for me it's epos v Rebo's Vox, and that's where my documents and music are, but your actual Windows apps are just in a Windows apps folder here, created today. You need admin access, it's not going to let me access it. You will need to use the security tab. That's interesting. It has very strict permissions, I'll say that. So you can't do a whole lot of management, you can of course go further in that process and get more details, but that is where it installs it too, just so you get the idea. You don't, you, you don't get like manual folder selection like you do with Steam, but this is still pretty nice. Now with Game Pass for PC specifically, it is actually a separate app. Because if you go here, download the app, it's actually downloading a Win32 installer instead of a Microsoft Store link or anything like that, which I find really interesting. Microsoft is moving away from the Windows Store stuff. So we're going to go ahead and install the Xbox beta installer for the Game Pass on PC beta. Approve the UAC prompt that pops up and let it do its thing here for a moment. All right, installation is done. Let's go. Now, of course, with Game Pass on PC, you don't actually own the games that you are basically renting through this service, but it does still need to install them locally since this is not relying on the streaming service just yet, although that will happen at some point in the future. All right, here is the new Game Pass launcher Xbox manager here. The original Xbox app now got renamed to the Xbox console companion, as that's more just to kind of interact with your Xbox consoles over the network, which is worth noting, I guess you can see. Yeah, new desktop experience coming soon. So they're they're working on it. And this is still a useful app, but it is not for actually playing your games anymore. And this is it. Now to change where Game Pass games are installed, you have a similar menu. You go up here to your profile icon, profile and settings, go to settings, and change where this app installs games by default. I'm gonna go down to D, 2.9 terabyte disk space remaining. That's where I want it to go. Now you also can go down here to Microsoft Store and enable offline permissions to play the games offline. Yep. That sounds like a good idea. All right. And there's other settings for notifications, your audio devices, that's kind of handy. Push to talk, things like that. Play with it, Game Pass. You can get a free or a, you can get a one month trial for $1 which is really handy, or you can actually sign up here and transfer your Xbox Game Pass time over. So I'm gonna say get Xbox Game Pass for PC beta. All right, so now you have access to their entire library of games available on here. I'm going to find shooters. I want to install Wolfenstein and Gears of War. I specifically wanted to play Gears of War Available on Game Pass, install. 133 gigabytes, it is installing to my D drive. And if I go back to Explorer, I believe it will still be installing to the Windows app location. However, I cannot confirm that at this time. And then with the Game Pass for PC, you can go ahead and manage things as desired. There are lots of games available. I'm actually gonna go ahead and get Wolfenstein as well. Because I wanna play Wolfenstein. Shinmu 1 and 2 is available. That's really cool. The Surge is available, I didn't know that. I'm going to install the Surge. Let's do it. Now, if you want the Game Pass that coexists across Xbox and PC, as well as includes the Xbox Live benefits, that's the Game Pass Ultimate, which basically takes the place of traditional uh, Xbox Live subscription as $14.99 a month, but gives you access to the entire Game Pass library that's on console, the entire Game Pass library that's on PC, and Xbox Live Gold itself, all in one package. And if you already have existing Game Pass time or Xbox Lifetime or whatever, it will basically combine all that into one time. So I'm going to go ahead and join on that. And that's going to get a little complicated since I already just did the trial of Game Pass. But I'm going to go ahead and get signed in here. Upgrading your membership. Joining Xbox Live Game Pass Ultimate will upgrade your remaining Xbox Live Gold or Game Pass memberships to the Game Pass Ultimate for the same amount of time, up to 36 months total, which is insane. I'm going to say continue. Because you've already paid for this time, so why would they just like take it away from you? This is a really, you know, pro user, pro consumer thing, and I am, I'm here for it. 
This is not like a sponsored video. This is just excitement because Game Pass is a really cool idea. And it has to be, pro I, I, can't ima I can't figure out how they're making a profit from it on, for, on Microsoft's end, given that, you know, you're not buying the games, but they've been pushing it so hard that they have to be raking in money for it. All right, manage my subscriptions. So I got everything transferred over. Yeah. My next charge for Game Pass Ultimate is in February 2021. Holy cow. And you can see here it canceled my Game Pass for PC, Game Pass for console, and Xbox Live Gold subscriptions and combined them into this. This is nuts. Sorry, I'm really excited. This isn't supposed to be like a hyping Game Pass video. I just wanted to show you what you can do. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This is how you manage your games for your Xbox Game Pass for the Windows Store and how to move them if you already have them installed. I know I've gotten a lot of questions about it and I actually got someone commenting on it which inspired this video on my original video on how to change the save location and they discovered uh, how to do this, specifically how to move your installed games that are already there. Again, this only works for Windows Store games, but Steam gives you some other options for managing games and I can cover that in another video if you like, but shout out to Roger Diot, Diotti, uh, for commenting and inspiring this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more tech education. I'm Epos Vox here to make tech easier and more fun. And I'll see you next time.